Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today we've got a brand new installment of This Week in EDM where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM. What a crazy concept. I have grabbed 20 songs that came out this past week from Sunday to Sunday and uh, we're going to talk about them a little bit. We've got uh, five categories, but uh, there's one category at the very, very top that's not there this week and we'll talk about that when we get there. But uh, let's start off with the trash category songs that I think are just absolutely bad regardless of who you are or your opinions. Uh, and uh, that's Don't You Worry by the Black Eyed Peas, Shakira, and David Guetta. Uh, the singing is just absolutely awful. It's a basic dance pop beat, and uh, <laughs> Black Eyed Peas has just lost all of their like flair and fun. Like their stuff used to be just carefree and just fun is the best way to put it, but now it's just it's boring and bland, and it's <laughs> it's just bad. So that's that. Uh, moving into the bad category songs that I think are not that great, uh, but maybe you may enjoy them a little bit more than some other ones. But uh, sadly, Barcelona Nights by Vice Tone. Uh, it's re very reminiscent of the Legacy LP that they that they came out with earlier, and I'm not a huge fan of that LP. Uh, it's pretty boring commercial house to me, and their new signature like synth sound. Uh, it's it's not for me. I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't really like it at all. Every time I hear it, I am I'm like, Ugh, not a fan. So that's that. Uh, and surprisingly, up next, uh, Arabian Nights by Riot and Sultan. Um, uh, very, I mean, Arabian, <laughs> Arabian sound design, of course, based off of the artist and the name of the track. Uh, but there's a really random sample in here that says, uh, "You over there, come on, let's dance." Uh, and it just takes me out of the song because it's like this Arabic kind of Middle Eastern feel, and then it's just this American voice saying this thing, and it just feels off and. It's just weird. Other than that, it's generic bro step, and it's not for me. Uh, up next is Subliminal, Even the Ghosts Are Laughing by Hades and Kramak, uh, featuring After My Fall. Uh, another one of those kind of uh, EDM rock fusion tracks. I'm not a huge fan of the screamo parts. I just have never really been in general. Uh, and the drops are like, they're okay, and they're ultimately really just not for me, which is why it's in bad, because it's all my personal opinion on everything. Uh, and then up next is Levitate by Ice Hunt. Ice Hunt has a debut album, Rebirth, that just came out on Friday. Uh, but this track in particular is a pretty basic trap beat uh, with very, very repetitive vocals. Uh, just was uh, not not for me. So up next, we have the meh category songs that I thought are, uh, are okay. Maybe you enjoy them more so than others. But uh, that's the category. We are starting off with Somebody Like You by Alan Walker and uh, Aura. However you want to say that. Uh, it's the another new project, uh, the Walkerverse Part 1 EP. Uh, and truly the start of the non-NCS era for Alan Walker. So it's interesting. Uh, it's kind of your basic slap house for the most part. And uh, I haven't been the hugest fan of Alan Walker, but this actually wasn't wasn't too bad. So I didn't, I didn't mind it that much. Up next is Have My Back by Silent Child and Vanek. Uh, it is another trap beat, and the whole song feels very processed. Everything is run through this, like, insane processor that makes, like, I don't know, just the beats and the vocals feel, uh, it makes it sound like an aggressive grungy sound, and I just, I didn't love it a ton. That being said, if I take that away, I kind of actually did enjoy the track quite a bit. I do like Vanek uh, quite a bit, too, so that's that. Uh, up next, another single off of an EP, Better Days by Drove. The Drift Away EP came out, and uh, Drove is honestly pretty basic kind of house, almost like a pseudo deep house, and uh, this track is just like a very, very basic house track. So that's that. Uh, Lights Out by Tasca Black and Alawith. Al I don't know how to say that exactly, uh, but a very deep and driven track, especially for Tasca Black, who's known for kind of not having this kind of darker, deeper sound. And so in that sense, I kind of liked it, but very, very short. It was only, I believe, two minutes and one second, something like that. So very, very short track. If it was a little bit longer, I may uh, have liked it a little bit more. Uh, but up next is Sleep by Sullivan King and Calcium. Uh, I'm also not the hugest fan of Sullivan King. I just talked earlier about I don't like the Screamo stuff a whole ton or EDM rock fusion, so this isn't for me for the most part. But I didn't mind it. The drops were okay. Not really my style, but the biggest gripe of the song is that the vocals feel, felt really buried in the track. So that's my opinion. Still in meh, though. Not too bad. And then uh, Scumbag by Godlands. New EP just came out, Godspeed on Monster Cat. And this is my least favorite of the four track EP. And so that's something, it's like, it's it's a pretty solid EP, but uh, this track 
in particular, not really for me, there's a mixture of the part where it goes from these kind of like jabby sounds to this like pad, this like atmospheric pad in the drops. It keeps going back and forth from like duh, 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 duh. and uh, I just I didn't really like that transition so much, and it happens like almost nine or ten times uh, in the track. So yeah. Uh, and then number uh, nine at the ninth highest track of the week is Spirits Part 2 from Party Favor and Lil Nar. Party Favor just came out with a new album as well, uh, Reset. But uh, this track in particular is, uh, is, is actually really good in terms of um, it being a solid track with great vocals. I really do like Party Favor beats uh, with rap on top of it. Again, my only gripe is it's really short. It's, it's really quite short. So that's why it's only just here in the meh, even though I really enjoyed it. But uh, up next, we have You Ever Wonder by No Taker. Uh, experimental bassy style from No Taker here. Uh, still with his iconic kind of sparkly melody line. It's a very No Taker style track uh, with a little bit more experimentation than we're used to. And uh, I enjoyed it. Up next is Never Gonna, in brackets, Be Alone by Flux Pavilion. Creative new track that's kind of a fusion of a bunch of his old styles and sounds all kind of mashed together into one single. So I like that for that sense but i just felt it was uh, a tad repetitive the song didn't feel like it was really going anywhere but that being said i still still enjoyed it uh, and then up next is desire by Mern and joy alexis a uh, fun and bright track with a simple and effective melody kind of a very like flowing free flowing kind of just go with the wind style track and uh it's something that i prefer more so than uh, others so that's why it's higher up on the list for this week and our final song from the meh category is wake up by just a gent and rando uh, chill atmospheric track from these two here, but doesn't really have the kind of signature uh, movements that a ju just a gent song does, where it kind of has these like low moments and then it kind of gets really intense and builds in between. Uh, it's just kind of just a very stagnant track comparatively to this other stuff. So, uh, and then moving into the good category songs, that I think are just are good. Uh, I think that are fairly objectively good. Uh, we're starting with Falling Apart, the acoustic mix uh, from Arm & Hammer and Run. Uh, one of the better acoustic tracks, I'd say, on Monster Cat to date. Uh, Run is just magnificent. I love what she does uh, on acoustic tracks, and I think she really shines uh, when it's a acoustic version of a song she was on. So big ups for Falling Apart. Uh, our third best track of the week is Lover by Otto Knows, Dice of Knights, and Alexis Aris. Uh, Otto Knows kind of back, I guess, in some extent, doing some Tomorrowland stuff. There's another song that came out earlier, and then this is the second. Um, really happy with this uh, commercial house track. Uh, it's really nothing crazy, but uh, kind of had some great quality to it and a nice catchy hook. One of the ones that's not doing too much, but still a solid track. And our penultimate track of the week is XYZ from Dead Mouse. Uh, just a solid, great Dead Mouse track. Uh, a little too long, I would say. Uh, I really enjoy long tracks, but this is almost 10 minutes long from Dead Mouse. And uh, the biggest thing I say with longer tracks is it needs to justify its length. And I think this would have been a good six, seven minute or rather than almost 10. Uh, but I love the movements of the track going from one area to another. It all flowed really well. And it's just kind of great quality Dead Mouse. And our top track of the week is not standout, still in the good category, we had no standouts this week, is Attention, Attention, the Disclosure Remix, actually, originally by uh, Oma Lay and Justin Bieber. So uh, two of them, this is just a Disclosure Remix, a great club mix of a kind of poppier song. And I actually really like how Bieber's voice works with the Disclosure beat. Um, I think the two of them work together really well, even though if it's just a remix, not actually them working together. But, uh, and then a nice little slowdown section at the very end. It feels like one of those slowed and reverbed parts of a, uh, like, you know, there's all these YouTube edits of songs that are just slowed and reverbed and it makes it like, ooh, like a little more chill. Uh, they they kind of did that themselves at the back end of the track. So uh, I really enjoyed it. But 